ladies and gentlemen, after a bunch of interrupted videos, I finally give you a proper review of The Hammond Collection, Jurassic World Dominion, Giganotosaurus. So, I'm finna talk about the delay videos at the end, but I'm just gonna tell you how I got this thing. So, I was on a shopping spree on uh, my birthday, and I got, got two figures. One of them was, was the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus. Have you ever? I'll talk about hi. I'll talk about it in its own separate review because it means I just get to copy and paste. That means I just have to say and copy and paste to what I said in this video. He 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 ha. So. Got some good art of the Giganotosaurus right here. And Giganotosaurus means giant severed lizard. And as you can tell, compared to my finger, this box is pretty massive. Compared to the Jurassic Jurassic Park free and Kyvosaurus that just that I just so happen to have on this review table. It's quite massive. And this is normally the box. So let's see what so, so we can tell. So, this is sticks, so let's. So this is like kind of like an estimate on how big the real figure is. I'm finna try and show the side of the box, but it's just like so massive. It's literally pushing back my little white covering. <clears throat> so on this side of the box, we got a better view of the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus. Source. And I like how in this art, they really still show the figure's articulation point instead of just making it some art of it. And now we have a description of the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus. Carnivores collide when the Giganotosaurus takes on the Tyrannosaurus Rex in a desert battle. And the Giganotosaurus emerges victorious. However, 65 million years later, wait, no. 65 million years, this epic rivalry comes head on in Biosyn Valley. This time with a different outcome. So, ignoring my cringy voice, voice, I do not like the description for this thing. The description should have been. Carnivores collide when the Giganotus source, source takes on on the Tyrannosaurus Rex in a, in a different in a desert battle, and the Giganotus source emerges and, Giga, and the Giganotus source emerges victorious. However, after six five million years, this the Giganotus source was injumped, um, and only existed to be the main villain, which it really wasn't. But oh my gosh, I need to clean my. Oh no, it's just, it's, uh, it just looks like this. Alright. So here we got some feet, so we got like the feature. The glass eyes and another roaring pose. And now, I really like, I got this is like the first art, like, Hammond Collection Large Carnivore I got. But now it's time to show y'all the actual figure. Figure. And... So, I'm so cute. It's just been a... I don't know if I should show it in its... Like, in a Jurassic World style. At the... I mean, like... I mean, it is my figure, but at the same time... At the same time, I guess it would make sense to make it to make it more Jurassic-ish. So, all right, please balance, buddy. Just please balance. I'll even droop your tail your tail down just so you can balance balance properly. 
So here is the full figure, which I think is fantastic. The painting, the sculpting, the osteoderms, or spikes, or dorsal plates. Plays if you go by the Godzilla Saurus meme and nickname. Although there was already a creature named Godzilla Saurus in, in the Godzilla franchise, and they already, and they already kind of had a reference to that in in Godzilla minus one, and it kind of and it gave them a collective scan. But other than that, the painting and sculpting of this thing looks pretty nice. I would say it's missing a tear at a, at the jaw. I'll get into that in my problem section. And so, yeah, this figure is just nice. It has a double hinge jaw. That means it, that means the top can open very wide and the jaw can close in a bit. Giving it a bit of an upward, upwards roar. Or vice versa. Giving it a downward roar. Ish. Or you can just open its mouth as wide as you can for like a loud roar. Or I'm making it look like it's about to bite to something. I feel like I don't say bite. Bite? Correctly. I don't know if I say it. I don't know if I say it correctly. Bite. I think I do. So as, I, so as I've been playing with, there's like these little, these like, it, you got some rotation at the wrists. That means it can be pronated or non pronated depending depending on how you want to portray your dinosaur accurately or more to the movie its arm can move in and out thanks to this obvious joint right here and the forearm can bend up and down And for the leg, it also has some good articulation. The big thigh, or the big thigh right here can rotate like that. The calf can move. Why does my phone keep falling? It always... It can't be a review. It can't be a 12-year-old review without, without something falling. I guess. I mean, it was a bit wonky, so I so that was expected. The ankle can rotate too. The foot can move up and down, and all of them except the thigh can swivel. And I think this will be the same for every single large Hammond Collection carnivore. The tail is has two segments. This this segment kind of lets you position the tail. Or the second part that is bendy bar. So if you want to make it go far to the left, you can just two folds in one and in this and in the same area. Two jeez. You can make it bend that way, or if you want to to make to bend it far left, you can make it go this way. Which, if you're getting it into a pose, like this, it can be really helpful. Now, I'm gonna quickly discuss some of my problems because it is very late at night and it's, and not to be funny, it's almost my bedtime. I literally got school tomorrow and like a virtual school day, which is gonna be a nightmare. I hope they don't send us anything. But I can't come on. I just make stuff like that. So, the inside of the mouth. It has two things I do not like at all. The, on the inside of the first oh my gosh. Oh 
on the inside of the mouth, we have the tongue. It can move up and down. And the texture is really good. But then we got these rubbery gums. And it just feels so out of place. It's like a bump on a flat uh, like a sudden bump on a flat road. It's so so perfect so so oh so far until you just come a come across this unexpected problem. The same goes the same comparison goes with goes the tongue and the teeth. Because mo because some of the teeth are rubbery. Although they're made of a much more, a, m a lot more sturdier rubber. Because they're, because I guess, in a more, in a more, in a more, uh, non more accurate reason, is that, is that it won't, is that like if it like if like my kids were pretending this thing biting down his arm, the top teeth like the bottom teeth won't just hurt a much as the teeth. But and the Lord guess I guess is is that Zeb bit on a rock or something and now and now his top teeth are just being messed up. So yeah. That was my review on the Hammond Collection Giga Notice Source. And before I end it off, I do have a size. Should I pick it up at this point? That is the four ball. This review. Four. Four phone balls in one review. That is ridiculous. But I am gonna compare it to something so y'all know how big it is compared to a newer figure that that I think it released alongside. So. All right. Please do not fall. Yeah, nice try, phone. You ain't falling on me today. I really already did four times. How does, how does someone fall, phone fall four times in one review? So here is it compared to So here is it compared to the Hammond Collection Ferrazinosaurus. 
And that's gonna be it for the review. Now, I know this review seems a bit rushed. That's because I've done... I've, I've done two... I, I attempted two review videos in the past... Not in the past, the past, but you know what I mean. And they both flunked. So, yeah. I'm gonna get ready for bed, and I'll see y'all in the next review.